2,100 miles. Just changed the oil again for the second time. Problem free, Toyota Tundra. No issues whatsoever with this truck. Just one small problem with the skid plate, one of the attachments being broke. And I'm supposing that's why people buy them. Uh, just good reliability and something you can count on. So rock and roll with that. Bits here. We've got this new Motive X tool to install and remove the cartridge for the Toyota Tundra. Last time we did the oil change, I did not have this. So handles on the vice grips were used last time because I didn't have this quite yet. So let's see how this works. All right, so there are indexed pieces here. We're just gonna go ahead and line that up. And it's working itself loose. A lot easier than trying to dilly-dally with something that's not made for it. I've got my oil pan down below here. So I'm just gonna get this loose where it's about coming off. I'm gonna take a suggestion from one of the comments just to go ahead and to, uh, <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna work very well. It might make more of a nest than what I would, but uh, we're gonna try to. All right, well, there we go, maybe. Well, that worked out all right, actually, using the plastic bag method, which I've never done before. So we've got this old Wix filter. It's draining out, so now we'll go back to the garage and put the new filter in and call this a day. So if you'd like to make less of a mess, you can actually unscrew this underneath and use the plastic piece to drain the oil filter out. Of course, this is just the factory plastic housing. You can get an aluminum upgrade. take the o-rings make sure they've got a nice little coat of oil on them for pliability make sure it's placed in the right groove here it's uniform right underneath here I'm gonna replace that one with this guy screw that back in and we drop this new filter in of course that's all there is to it Makes it a lot easier. Well, time to give some Tundra a little bit of love. Do we take off these stickers? The turd stickers, as they're commonly known. All right, so dear Toyota, does it really need to be TRD? Toyota racing should suffice. I mean, if you're racing, obviously you're developing things to race better. So really do we need a Toyota racing development my opinion, and others too probably agree with me that it's just a bit much. So let's take those weird stickers off. We can add to them or we can just, uh, but I don't like the way it looks. We'll just take it off for good. <laughs> oh, Tacoma, turd. Well, I guess we're doing this. In the sun, best time to do it. So we're fixing that little debacle right as we speak. Whoa, 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 Haas. I'm gonna try something here. <laughs> Very lightly. Now I'll clean that up, make it blend. And we'll just be running a TR, a Toyota racing truck. <laughs> oh yeah. So if you wanna get serious, the general purpose adhesive cleaner from 3M is the Got real the deal. TR edition. <laughs> I picked up a set of these off of a 2019 Tacoma, real cheap. This would enable a Tundra big brake upgrade on the 4Runner. And of course, got the old Tacoma over there. I already have a set of new tires and everything on that. So that one's ready to go for the big brake upgrade as well.
That was a time machine noise. We're going back in time, all the way to March for this install. <laughs> it's all right there. Need a washer and the bolt. Then we can just adjust these. You don't have to tighten them down. Life hack, have nimble fingers. <laughs> Which I kind of don't. <laughs> it's only 24 degrees today. I ran outside yesterday. It was like as cold as that. With your, uh, the fingers. Plop. Yeah, there you go. And then start the other one. to the other one. I went to the premium this time, the Pro, and it just has a quick release turnbuckle rather than the ones like up front that are screw on. Well, that's handy dandy. It is. Installation of the tonneau cover, another gator. It's been holding up good. Take a quick look at how that's installed real quick. So easy. You have a youth do it. Let's talk about the ownership of the 2019 Tundra. Obviously this platform has been around for quite some time. The power, excellent. I mean, if you would go back a few years and think about a pickup truck pushing almost 400 horsepower and 420 foot pounds of torque, uh, that would be groundbreaking. Uh, so it's more than plenty. Uh, the fit and finish, no problems whatsoever, no issues. Mileage is around 14, 15, 18, somewhere right in there, which is really good, I think, for a full-size truck and for what it does, pulling power and all that. So that's the report on the uh, 2019 Tundra 5.7. Super reliable, fit and finish is good, power is good, no issues, no service visits, no check engine lights. So I'm a pretty happy owner. But I have been thinking, is it time to go to a different brand, maybe? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> so is it time to add another vehicle to the channel? I'm going to think about that. 